What up everyone, Jay Ingersoll here, EDP Studios. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today we are just going to jump right into this and we are gonna make a beat with a flute sample. So if you're into flute beats or wanna learn how to make beats like that, this is your video. Appreciate that, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, we getting into it. I already got a few samples picked out here. This will go with the flute first. So I'm kind of feeling that how I do my beats is a little different. I will come up with 10 to 15 ideas and I'll get like a real rough scratch draft down and then I'll go on to the next one. So then I just have like 20 new ideas sometimes just to work on and then I'll go through and finish them. I don't always do it like that, but sometimes if I'm just feeling real inspired and want to get a lot of ideas out, I'll do that and then I'll go back and try to revisit the best ones. This one stuck out to me, so we'll see if we can do something with it here. I'm hearing a few things. There's another sample that goes with it. The sample kit is pretty dope. So that's pretty cool. And I chose 180 BPM for this just because I wanted it to be a little more uh, of a faster tempo with that vibe. That being said, I am going to duplicate this and make it unique. And then I'm just gonna rename this real quick to try to stay organized. We'll color it red. And then what I want to do with this, Shift M, will turn your stretch on. Then I want to stretch this to double time and see what that sounds like with it. Um, I'm going to have to send this to a different mixer track. Bear with me because I usually use two screens, but I have to use this one just so I can record it and you guys can check it out here. So we'll move this to 12. We're going to take that off. Okay, so I like that half time better with the rest of the faster sample. So I might use this uh, main flute in a different part of the song. I might throw an effect or something on it. But uh, right now I'm not even going to use that. I'm going to use the actual stretched out half time one because I kind of like that better. So let's just see what that will sound like against some drums here. Try to show you guys. So I got this pattern I already got, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off. We'll get the regular stuff going on it here. All right. All right, cool. So I'll just do a little simple drum pattern in there real quick. Let's see what we got for the arrangement now. So I have this uh, plugin right here, the Hornet Song MK4. This is a newer one that come out. I think it's like three, $3 when I bought it, but it tells you the key of the sample and everything. So let's just find out exactly what key this sample is in. This one's nice because it shows you the chords here too. Um, so let's just turn this. Actually, I had it on the, uh, the, the other flute, but I want to put it on the halftime one and see what it says. That sound a little cooler, I don't know. change around a, uh, just just a couple little sounds here boost it all right cool I mean, I think that's it. We'll keep it basic. We'll arrange it. Maybe add a couple of effects, but I mean, 
you don't really need much more than that. You need to leave room. I'm making this so somebody can rap on it. You know. So let's get into arrangement. All right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to pattern one. We will delete this here. Let me just organize this real quick. Yeah, let's do something like this. Because we kind of need that almost in there. That, because it gets the rhythm catching first. But what we'll do is we'll throw an effect on there. Let's throw some of this. Cool, check it. Have it kind of fade out right there. That's pretty much that. Just mix it. Really no need to get super crazy with it. And that right there is how you take a flute sample and make it into a beat. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. We could get complicated with some transitions. We could add some more, maybe some RC20 during this. This might sound cool. But keep it simple. Don't overdo it. Gotta have space, gotta have a place where you can get in the pocket on that. And then maybe I might put some interesting at the beginning or the end for some effects. But yeah, with that being said, man, I'll show you how I got, I'll, I'll mix it on the mixer real quick for y'all. Then again, it's in headphones, so mix could change, but see, I already have templates set up, so I already have mixes going on here. Usually I try to get this down to around nine and then just so it gives me a lot of headroom when I go to master and I'll show you how to do that. find a part real quick where everything is going at one time. And that's how the mix sounds in the headphones. And I'll just put some ozone on it. Crank it up. But yeah, I'd have to listen to my headphones. And that right there is how you make a beat with a flute and a loop. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, appreciate it. 
Much love. Peace.